Robert Schiller, a professor of both economics and finance at Yale and author of the best-selling book Irrational Exuberance, has recently questioned Mark Faber's decision to stack physical gold instead of holding on to worthless fiat. So if you don't know who Robert Schiller is, I'll just fill you in really quickly here. Robert Schiller wrote the book Irrational Exuberance back in 2000, and it was a New York Times bestseller, which warned that the stock market had become a bubble in March 2000. And then I believe he released a, another book, uh, I think it was 2005, acknowledging that further rises in the stock and housing markets could lead eventually to even more significant declines. So Robert Schiller is definitely somebody with a good... Uh, a good background and history in studying bubbles and studying markets. So to have him questioning Mark Faber's decision to buy gold is is something that I think everybody should at least take into consideration. We should see the uh, the arguments on both sides of the story. So this is what Mark Faber said. I'm prepared to make a bet. You keep your US dollars and I'll keep my gold. We'll see which one goes to zero first. So with history as our guide, we understand that gold has always had a, has always been a store of value. It has intrinsic value. It's not uh, it's not specific to one culture. It's not specific to one region. It's the money without uh, it's the money without prejudice. It's the money without um, it's basically the money that's accepted all over the world. So. Uh, we understand that gold has always been a store of value, and we also understand that fiat currency, which is uh, paper money that isn't backed by anything physical or anything that has intrinsic value, uh, it always goes to zero. So 100% of the time, any fiat current fiat monetary system that has been started has always gone to zero. So this one quote that he says here has a lot more um, it has a lot more to offer rather